Hello everyone and welcome back to Forest Farm here in Stardew Valley. We're on episode 26 and it's the summer of year 3. I've just got up this morning to see a lovely crop of uh, blueberries ready. So I'm going to get on with gathering those in. I'll let the animals out first. Let's see if we have any new chickens. No. And then uh, I might pop down to the mines later on. Oops. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Get a bit more uh, combat and mining under my belt. See if I can't get those. Oh, it's that blooming festival thing. That Luala thing. I can't, whatever it is. Lu, la, 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 I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bother going, to be honest. I, I know the, the value of going is it helps up your friendship I believe but all my friendships uh, are maxed out apart from Sandy and Krobus uh, I don't know I don't know what I'll do is if I go I want to take a uh, iridium quality truffle for the soup so I'll let the pigs out and uh, if they drop one for me while I'm harvesting I'll go if I've got time no. Right, we'll get on with these. Okay, I didn't go to the festival on the beach. Instead, uh, I've just come down the mines and level 91 is the mushroom level. Well, it was when I was here last. So, uh, I just keep going and coming back to it. But it, the mushrooms seem to have disappeared now. Oh no, there they are. I see all these guys coming to get me. I wish I'd come down earlier actually. Come here. So I'm just going to keep making trips uh, back down here and get as many mushrooms as I can. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'll get on with it. Get back to you later. Now today I've come down to see Clint. The hope is in. No, he's not. <laughs> Bother. I was going to get my geodes processed and finally pick up that pickaxe. I just keep forgetting about it. So uh, nothing I can do about that. Anyway, it's the day of the travelling cart. So I'm going to go over there and see what she's got. I'm I'm rather disappointed about that. I'll just grab these things while I'm here. I must keep remembering that he's not in on a Friday. Let's see if he's got anything I must have. I'm I'm thinking here of my uh, shipping achievements now. Anything I've not shipped. I don't know if I've actually shipped a void mayonnaise, but I can make that myself now. Um, radish, I've probably shipped those. I'll always buy a rare seed. And I don't want anything else. Okay, well that was disappointing. Right, there's not much else to do with the day. No, I had a quest that Sandy wanted an amethyst. Uh, she does. I've got an am amethyst. Um, I mean, it's going to cost me 500 gold to get there. But I'll I'll go and do it just... Oh, I better buy a ticket. I'll go and do it just uh, for the chance of digging up worms as well. 
At least it's a cheaper day out in the desert. Let's see if this does anything to the heart levels. I hope it does. Right, Sandy. Right. Uh, where's your amethyst? There it is. Uh, put it there for now. Jolly good. And I'll get my 300 gold back. Right, I'm going to see what you've got in the shop on a Friday for a change. Oh, shall I get more star fruit? Um, yeah, I can't resist. Right, might as well make it a hundred. I don't know how many spaces I've got to plant it, but um, beet seeds. Do I need beet seeds for anything? I buy a couple, and I don't need honey. And I've done rhubarb. I'm I'm sort of thinking about the uh, shipping achievements now. Right, I spy one worm up there. It could be the one. Can I get to it? How do I get to that worm? One. No. And I don't think I see any more. Nope. And not even any forage. Did I look down there? Yep. No, well, nothing much on offer here today. So, I've come back down to Clint's today on a Saturday. Hopefully, I can uh, get my Iridium Axe. That's fine. And I want to process geodes. Now, it's pretty boring to watch, so as usual, I'll get them processed. And I'll let you know if I've got anything jaw-droppingly exciting. Okay, I managed to get two things for Gunter out of that, and I got a prismatic shard, which I've no use for now. <laughs> but it'll come in handy to put in the Grange display. I think it's the most val valuable mineral you can put in. So I'm going to sell uh, the stuff I don't need back to Clint, and then we'll pop into the... Uh I'm going to hang on to that. Well, I don't know why, but I am. I don't think I've got one. I'll sell that and that. Not those two, but that. That can go. Uh, yeah, I got granite before, didn't I? I've, I've checked them all out. That. Uh, oh, I'll sell those, shall I? Yeah, why not? Um, I don't know why I'm hanging on to these, but I will. Okay, so we'll go off to the museum. Two isn't a lot. I think that leaves me a five to get for the museum. I don't think I uh, get any rewards. No, not a sausage. Never mind. Okay, we've come into the coop this morning. We've got a new baby chick. And as promised, so let's see if it's a blue one. No, it's a brown one. So I'm awfully sorry, Stevie, but bye. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Okay, we'll just go on with this. We'll put another egg in. I'll just put an ordinary egg in. And uh, keep trying. Now I'm back down the mines today and I found the mushroom level. And it's at a nice easy level. It's at level uh, 86. So I can just keep coming out the mines, then back in again and keep collecting mushrooms, which is what I intend to do. See if there's any more up here. 
I'm going to spend as much of the day as I can doing this. I'll get back to you when it's all over. It's 10.30 at night and I managed, I think it was six trips down to that level. I got myself 75 red mushrooms and 16 purple ones. I'm going to keep all the purple ones in here because they're excellent for going down the mines and I'll just replace all my mining stuff and get back all my farming stuff. Oh, I won't take those home. So that's me finished here, I think. Oh, no, better not forget that. Okay. Well, my trip down to the mine just gets better. I managed to get my combat level up to eight. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> Let's have a look how much we got for the mushrooms. They brought me 11,000 gold, so that's good. Uh, and my star fruit wine brought me that. And my good old truffles brought me that, so 33,000 gold for yesterday. That was a good day. And after another day down the mines, my mining level has gone up to 8. So we're getting there. Well, I've had a busy day today. Now, I'm expecting a pretty good uh, haul of gold overnight because all my crops are ready today uh, the star fruit, the melon and the blueberries I didn't put all my star fruit in but I put quite a lot in so let's see if we made oodles of gold well 195,000, 200,000 gold ooh let's have a look what we got here all big money. 22 of those brought 27. Honey did well. That's just odds and sods. So, uh, mm, that's good. Let's see what we're up to now. I must be creeping up to my 3 million. 2 million 700. Right. Almost getting time by a return scepter okay another baby chick so let's see let's see if we get a blue one nope another one of these oh dear I'm sorry Stevie but you for the chop Now then, I've just popped down to the sewers, just to be nosy to see what Krobus had for sale, and I've walked into a little cutscene. So, a shadow person above ground. This is outrageous. Your people were responsible for the death of my entire family. If you dwarves hadn't driven us from our ancestral home, we'd never had to resort to violence. I'm sorry about your family. Sorry isn't going to cut it. Oh, fight, fight. <laughs> Let me at him. <laughs> He's despicable. Come and get it, shrimpy. Silence, both of you. The elemental wars have long been finished. You have no reason to be fighting any longer. The two of you must make peace for the sake of the humans that live around you. Surely you can see that. Very well, I'll stay away from the sewer from now on. And I'm truly sorry about the past. Dwarf, I have no personal gripe with you. 
Very good. I shall cast a seal of promise to finalize this agreement. Mm. Right, I just popped in on a Monday instead of the usual. Uh, when is it? I come just to see if he had anything interest. Oh, look, there it is. No, I'm not buying it yet. But I'm close. No, nothing today. Well, there wasn't a lot to do today, so I decided to spend the day in the kitchen and do some cooking. And I've started uh, trying to complete the cooking achievements. Now, I've made a mistake this year and I should have put tomatoes in earlier on. Quite a lot of dishes wanted tomatoes. Um, and I can see odd things like kale and things like that I'm going to have to get. But this has filled up a lot better than it was before. So uh, we're getting there. And I'm too late to put tomatoes in now. I've got tomatoes, but they won't grow in time. Right, I'm going to have an early night. Well, it's a rainy day here on uh, Friday, the last Friday in the month. I've popped down to the travelling cart and uh, I've been able to buy five rare seeds and also there was another rare seed up the top here. So I think I'm just going to make sure I can buy another five. That's 10 rare seeds. I'm pleased about that. I also managed to get a sea cucumber and a red cabbage, which I want um, for the cooking achievement. I don't know if you buy them, if it counts as cooking, it doesn't, does it? So there's no point in me buying it. So I wish they had tomatoes. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Right, it's Saturday, the day before the last day. Now, I'm delighted to see I've got a batch of um, blueberries ready, but I'm getting extremely concerned about this star fruit and this. I've just got one more day. Now, I did everything right. I got it in on the first day, got it watered, and it's got speed grow. Uh, but I'm sure they get a little bit bigger than that before um, they're ready. And it's the same with these things. <laughs> so all this could be a total disaster tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. However, I'm going to get on with getting the blueberries in. Right, well, that's the blueberries gathered in. Um, just for something to do today, uh, there's not a lot else I can do. I think we'll go and start Mr. Key's quest. I won't get it finished today because, if I remember rightly, I have to end up going to the desert. And by the time I've done it, Pam will be gone away from the bus stop. But however, and I think the first stage mm -hmm. is to find this thing along here. There it is. And put a battery in it. Is that right? Yes. It worked. The lockbox swings open. Inside, there's a note. Your first task, bring a rainbow shell to the train platform. Leave it in the box. Right. I've got all the necessary ingredients with me. We'll perhaps get this quest one and the next one, but we certainly won't be able to get to the desert. Right, I want a rainbow shell in there. You throw the shell into the box, immediately a note falls down from the rafters above. 
Well done. Your next task, place ten beets inside the mayor's fridge. You can do that. I'll see you down there. Right, here we are at Lewis's. Let's hope we can get in. And there's his fridge. You quickly place the beets in the fridge. Wait a second, there's a note taped to the milk. It's addressed to you. Good job, kid. Your final task, give the sand dragon his last meal. Well, we know that that's the sand essence, but it's now six o'clock, and I'm not going to be able to get to uh, there. Let's just have a route round and see what he's got in here. What's that? A traditional tea set him. Nothing all that interesting, is there? Right. I may as well pop down to <coughs> the beach and do a bit of beach combing. Right, it's the last day of the summer and I can hardly bear to go outside and see if I've lost all... Right, I've got those and I've got those. Oh, great, <laughs> great stuff. Right. Um... I'm going to get on with collecting them in, so this should certainly make me a pretty penny today. I honestly thought I might have got it wrong this year and I was going to lose all that star fruit and the melons. <laughs> However, they've come through. Good old speed grow. Oh look, and it gets better. I've got myself a giant one. The spirits were right. My luck has been in today. We'll just burst this open and... That's the wrong thing. Let's see what we get. We got 19 melons. Great. Right, let's get the quest over with first. I think I have to pop this in here. You place the essence in the dragon's maw, only then do you notice a note hidden in the eye socket. You've proven yourself, kid. Check out the pile of lumber next to your house. I will do that when I get home. First, I'm going to have a quick shift around for any likely artifacts. There's worms there. No. No. Well, we've come home from the travelling cart and I almost forgot we've got to check the pile of lumber here. And this, I believe, is, it says, under a piece of wood, you found a club card. You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important it's been added to your wallet. And we all know what that does, don't we? Okay, I'm just going to kick my heels now because uh, tonight is... Uh, one of my social highlights of the year. I know you won't want to miss the excitement. So I'll be seeing you down at the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. And here we are. The place is just buzzing. I don't need to go and speak to people. Uh, I suppose we'll... I, I can't contain my excitement any longer let's just uh, get on with it so please launch the boat yes And here we go. Wow. Okay, now <laughs> that, as you might guess, is the end of this episode. We've come to the end of the summer. I do hope you've enjoyed washing it as much as I've enjoyed making it. Now, I'd love it, of course, if you'd give the video a like. It's very important on YouTube. Uh, 
and it would be great if you would subscribe. I've actually put a different end into this video and in the next scene you'll see a little red thumbprint that you can press to subscribe straight away from the video. Please use it. So that's all for this one. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all again in the next episode.